Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of boy, just welcome to the Rebel Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. Alrighty, as we resume with the reviews of the GCW Collective 2024, next up is Progress Wrestling Chapter 166, Freedom Walks Again. Now, if you are new to Robert Sports Show, welcome. So far during this WrestleMania weekend, I have reviewed Defy, Stardom, GCW's Bloodsport, Mark Hitchcock's Russell Kahn Memorial Show, GDT Goes Philadelphia, and now we are at Progress Chapter 166. The Revolver vs. House of Glory is up next. Um, there's still some shows. Um, the Collectives, GCW, JCW vs. The World, haven't watched it yet. Haven't watched Toshi Joe, Joyce, Joshi Pro Wrestling is on today, and then the ones tonight, obviously, Spring Break, Ring of Honor, Supercard of Honor, SmackDown, and then um, right now we have GCW for the Culture. Those shows will get watched over the next couple days. Tomorrow we have NXT Standalone, First Night of WrestleMania, Effie's Big Gay Brunch, GCW vs. Joshi, Joshi Pro, and then on Sunday we have WrestleMania, and if I am able to, Spark Joshi, Trailblazer, and Red Pro Live in London 84. That all happens on Sunday. Um, but you know what? We're going to try to get everything done before Monday. Before Monday Night Raw on Monday, the goal is to have everything reviewed from the weekend, a best of as well. So we're going to get started here on Progress, Chapter 166. It is great to have Progress back in the United States, as you can tell. Progress fan here. Uh, I've, matter of fact, I reviewed the first progress show I, re I previewed and reviewed was Chapter 76. Hello, Wembley. Um, so I've been a fan ever since. Um, definitely for the last 50 or 60 chapters. Someday I'll watch all 166 of them and do a best of, but that's, that's down the line. That's years away. So, first match, we had a seven way scramble match. Now, as we know, progress wrestling and the fire wrestling entered into partnership. So you're going to notice a lot of Defy and a lot of Progress kind of going back and forth between the two promotions. I love when promotions like that work together. I love the independent scene as we can see multiple companies of, of wrestlers on a show. So Kid Like Us 2, Cody Chung part of the Defy, Gringo Loco, we see him everywhere, Leon Slater, Marcus Mather, Simon Miller, Tate Mayfairs. Oh, Tate came out cutting just this great heel promo and how he better than everyone and all this, which was great. We have some of the seven of the best wrestlers in the world here. Kid Like Us 2 likes to do high risk dives. We got Leon Slater that did an amazing dive off the, off the top rope. We got Lycos hit a brain buster on Cody Chung. That hurt me watching it. It was so, but it's just amazing what the, all these talented wrestlers can do. And on that brain buster, that kid like us hit on Cody Chung, won him the match. He is the winner. Three and a half star for that seven way scramble match. Next up, Progress Atlas Championship on the line. Champion Ricky Knight Jr., one of my favorite wrestlers in the world, going against Yoshi. For one of the first few, one of the few times I've seen Yoshi. I think I've seen him once or twice before. Um, but this match, whoa. These two were hitting each other, slapping each other in the chest. Their chests were all red and bloody. And uh, Yoshi, that boy can kick. He can kick like Kenta. Ricky Knight Jr., I've followed him for quite a while now. He's part of the Zack Knight family. Um, Saraya, that family. He's like a cousin, I think. Um, but Ricky Knight Jr., RKJ, he's had five-star matches versus Will Ospreay. The fact that he's holding the Progress Atlas Championship, which to me, the fact that you see Progress and Red Pro working together is pretty awesome as well. Um, Muscle Buster, Pile Driver, or, or Kishi Driver by RKJ, and still Yo Yoshi kicked out. RKJ's never beat him. And... We have a new Atlas champion. He still has yet to beat him. Yoshi beats Ricky Knight Jr. for the Progress Atlas Championship. I give this match four star. Um, when you can kick out of Muscle Buster, followed by Rikishi Driver, and 
Yeah. As soon as he kicked out of both of those Yoshi, I'm like, there's no chance RKJ is retaining this title. And he did not. 13 and a half minutes. That was an awesome match. Four star. One of the matches of the day. Uh, next up, we have intergender tag match. We had Bussy, Alley Catch, and Effie representing GCW. Of course, it's a collective. They're going to be there. Going against Gene Money and Sessions Moth Martinez. Sessions spent some time at the bar getting her a nice little Bud Light. Um, and got in the ring. Wrestled a little bit. This match for me was just kind of there. I enjoyed it because Effie and, and uh, um, Alley Catch are just kind of funny. Uh, Gene Money is just... When he has the tape over his nipples and it's like the square, it's like, really, what's the point? It's kind of like the sable tape of the, the 90s. We all know what I'm talking about. Session of Moth Martinez, she's just wild as can be. Um, but this match, 11 and a half minutes, I ended up giving it three star with Bussy getting the victory. Next up, we had probably one of the top chopping matches of the weekend. Luke, Luke Jacobs. Versus Spike Treve. Spike Treve, former Progress Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion. Um, this is a Luke Jacobs is a big boy, and he just chopped and chopped and chopped at freaking Spike Treve. Um, again, he's all bloody in the chest, all red. Um, I saw this match really was. It was kind of like a hoss fight, but Spike Treve is not really a hoss like Luke Jacobs. Um, I ended up giving it two and three quarters with Luke Jacobs getting the victory. Next up, we had a very fine Progress Women's Championship match. We had champion Rio going against Lena, Lena Austin. Lena Austin um, got the upper hand a few times as they were fighting on the outside of the ring. It kind of gave Lena Austin the upper hand a little bit. She kind of had Rio down. So instead of going after your opponent and finishing off your opponent, no, 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 she grabs a microphone and has a um, Lana Oki. Yes, Lana Oki. Yeah, thank God it didn't last long, uh, but it was horrible. Um, <laughs> and Rio ended up coming back from that and got the distraction and got the victory. Ended up giving it three star with Rio getting the victory. Uh, next up, we had a progress tag team title on the line. We had Sanity, Axel Teschner, and Big Demo going up against the champions. Cheeky little burgers. Um, Alexis Falcon and Charles Crowley, and then the Sunshine Machine, Chuck Mambo, and T.K. Cooper. The best way to describe these three teams, we had the Big Muscle Insanity. We had the kind of standard British, kind of European, um, British strong style tag team in Sunshine Machine. They got a little bit of power, a little bit of finesse. And then you had just the kind of annoying little brother in the cheeky little burgers, burgers. Uh, Alexis Falcon and Charles Crowley and in the three teams for the most part mesh together pretty well when there's a triple threat tag team match I'd rather see one of each person in there instead of having because at one point you had Big Damo in there with Chuck Mambo and you had to have cheeky little burgers coming in and, and basically stopping the pens if you have all three in there everybody's el eligible at one point um, Alexis Falcon came in, Big Damo was in, she tagged in. She goes to do a cross body on Big Damo and he just catches her and just like, really? I'm like, okay, you should have done that. Um, I was looking for the power to um, take over here, but it didn't really. Charles Crowley ended up getting Big Damo to the outside, pulled the rope down. Um, overall, this is good quality, hard hitting match that kind of had spots where you needed them otherwise it was kind of was, was good I, I ended up giving it a three and a half um and sanity actually re getting the new tag team champions here so we had two title changes already and then the main event was the progress world title on the line champion kid like us versus the man like the reese um his tag team partner leon slater on the outside um kid like us part of like us gym so both these wrestlers really Cha former champions in the tag division so well trained in the tag division both of them obviously good as singles as well um this match <laughs> to man like Therese looked like he had, a, had an overabundance of aggression 
Um, now these guys are friends. They've shaken hands, me and friends beforehand. That's one of the com some of the commentators are talking about. Is how is that friendship going to translate into a good match? A lot of times, when you have guys who are friends having a match, those are the best matches because they bring out the best in each other, and then they push each other, and that's what this was. But I mean, man, like Darius had a lot of aggression, was just kind of going after Kid Lycos. So you kind of had like, whoa, what is up with this? Um, there was a couple different times where they both had each other down. It was almost like it was a last man standing match, but as the referee's counting their boat down, the referee gets to eight and both of them do a kick up. And he does this twice. I'm like, huh? It's just, the first time it was cool. I was like, oh, that's cool, you know. When it happened again, it's like, oh, okay. It's just like when you have a, some of the big matches earlier where you have somebody, you had a big old spot and then they kick out a one. It's like, really? That just They just kicked out a one? Sometimes in the flow of the match it makes sense. <coughs> and sometimes it's like, really? That's how I felt about the second one of these skip ups. But other than that, hard hitting, dives to the outside, two just took it to one another and they brought out the best in each other. And still a progress world heavyweight champion, Kid Lycos. I ended up giving it three and three quarter star. So overall, great show in progress. I hope they come back to the United States and do more shows here. Um, definitely wasn't the normal commentators. They had Rich Bokini on, which he's one of the best there is. So work for me. Um, but that is progress wrestling. Freedom. <laughs> and uh, we are going to review... Wrestling Revolver and House of Glory next. So thanks for watching Robert Sports Show and don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader, sports content.